Ah, it feels, uh, feels good because uh, we had an amazing season last year. We won everything that has to be won. And uh, so you set your, set your ladder again for this season. Try to do the same thing that you did last season and uh, maybe better. I don't know if it can be better, but I think we can improve on a lot of other things too. What have you done during the holiday? I just relaxing most of first 10 days was more like really really switching off and then after that you just start working out once once twice a week if possible so yeah it was a good vacation we needed that break we deserved it too um, to be honest the first 10 days I haven't done anything but that was part of the schedule so the next uh, ten days after that, I did some work for myself, but not exactly how it needs to be done. So, how do you like it? The, the winter training inside. Well, to be honest, it's 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 not easy. You know, it's it's uh, the weather is a little bit depressing because uh, you go outside in the dark and you come back home in the dark, and you train indoors. So, it, it's really nice to 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 leave on the twenty seventh see some sun, train a little bit outside, you know. You're longing for Portugal? Yeah, I'm longing for Portugal, especially when you've been away for a long time, especially uh, if you've been to the sun, you've seen the sun so much, and then you come back to Sweden and you don't appreciate it as much as you should, because there are nice things that you should appreciate here. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's nice to go to Portugal again, yeah. Uh, did you bring the gold medal to Morocco? No, I didn't. I bring. I brought it to Holland because my mom told me so many times not to forget it. Because last season we uh, we won the cup, and I forgot the medal. So my mom was a little bit disappointed. But this year I took everything, so I made it up. What do you say about the transfer season so far? Yeah, I think they got three good talents. It's uh, it's very important to strengthen the team in, 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 in the width too. But it's important that if we want to play European football, if we want to put put a good performance on the pitch, we need more because we lost so many players and it's not going to be easy. Uh, yeah, we need we need uh, we need to improve on, 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 on some places. There are two players, only 70, 17 years old. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's 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 not much of an experience, but it's amazing talents. Um, and I think the philosophy for Hoyev to to work towards the future is a great example for 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 the other teams. Uh, but for me personally, I think the most important thing this season is is is, is yeah ex is the extra thing. That's that's the Champions League or the European Cup because. Last season we won everything, so that's, this season uh, we're going to try to do the same thing, an extra, so, and a big extra, because uh, it's important to put Swedish football back in the map again on four clubs in Europe. What kind of contracts do you have? Uh, so I, have a, I still have a contract to the end of 2013, but nothing is sure in football, you never know. There might be something, there might be not, but uh, as long as I'm here, I'm focusing on uh, what's important and that's Hoyev right now. Have you heard anything from other clubs? Oh, I heard so many things, so many rumors, so many people call, but as long as they don't negotiate with Hoyev and as long as there's nothing concrete, then uh, I have nothing to fear about. You know how football goes, everybody talks, talks, talks. But so do you think you will stay all the season here in Helsingborg? It looks like it. We have to see what, what this month brings, so I hope so. Yeah.